Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to a democracy free Africa as South Africa where I need to kill HIV AIDS. <laughs> oh, it's it's easy gonna be done. Like look at the bars that we have once they're fully ticked in. Lots. But like 32 turns? I, <laughs> hopefully that's gonna be before the election. Cause that's really hurting health. Uh, obesity? Okay, that, if that stays constant, this rate that's ticking down, that's gone next turn, so that'll be a big boost for health. Education. Gender inequality is hurting education. Gender inequality is coming down. Gender inequality is helping the conservatives. Women don't like it. Liberals don't like it. Health. It's hurting the health. It's hurting education. It's hurting GDP. It needs to go. Just go, go, go. Which means these groups need to go. <laughs> GDP is up. Is this a global economy thing? Actually, that's leveled out and our income jumped up. So with the global economy being basically stagnating, doing well, but you know, the increase wasn't going up uh, for the past three turns, we kept level with it and we, then we jumped up. Our expenditures have actually come down. Really? Again, I want a freaking bar chart. <laughs> I want to know what's changed, not just what we're currently spending. Oh, unemployment benefits. The Yeah, unemployment jumped up and down, didn't it? That's just what it is. What I actually wanted to see was the unemployment number, which I think I have to come out of. If I go to GDP, I hate that everything moves around. Unemployment doesn't affect GDP. Like productivity. Hurt by unemployment. And unemployment jumped up. Two turns of stagnation on the e thingy economy. Back down when we fixed it. I'm not sure what we fixed. But when we did it. Okay, that's the highest our GDP has ever been. I can't believe how low that is. Like, it pinned back down to the bottom. Uh, skill shortage. Adult education is actually going to take that away. Good. It might even be next turn that goes. And I'm saying good to that because GDP... Yeah, that's one of the major things here. Productivity... I actually thought that skill shortage showed up in here again. Productivity is mainly being hurt by unemployment. Unemployment is back on the way down. Do I basically have to reach a zero unemployment though? Because that's like the biggest thing that's hurting productivity. And... Well, that's maybe a 10% unemployment. But then again, we started here. So does that suggest there was a 90% unemployment? Gender inequality. You are the main thing I need to work on. So despite the fact the religious are such a large group, they already hate me. Can I ban religion? <laughs> um... Quite 50, I'm, I'm nowhere near that. But like foreign language, I think free school meals. Wait, are we, are we back in? Are we still a deficit of 20, actually. I'm considering. Obesity is going away, right? Yeah, but it's taking a while to tick in. People love public libraries. Right, free eye tests. 
it's reasonably cheap. I like how the wealthy and the capitalists don't like it. It's... It costs at all. Poor earnings, elderly, and health goes up. Which is my main thing, and socialists like it. And socialists is a large percentage of our population. Poverty goes down, obesity goes down. Everything else is up. Parents like it. Parents is a large part of our population. Actually, parents isn't. Motorists is a large one, and I've done sod all for them. I'm surprised religious hasn't tried to kill me yet. Do I bring in the public libraries? Screw it, yeah. The elderly, it helps equality, and it helps education. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so I got a deficit. I'm like, oh yeah, the economy's doing brilliant. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna get out of this deficit. No, I'm, I'm an idiot. I just spent so much more money, and not even on things that I really wanted to do. Crimes even further down. Unemployment is further down. Skills shortage, and then GDP is shot up. Right, that GDP shooting up. I think we might even actually be making. <gasps> we spent, like, we 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 had a deficit of about twenty, and um, we spent maybe another ten. Maybe another 15 billion, and yet a deficit. We are now the surplus of 15 billion. I think we might even win the election at this rate. Global economy is doing well, it's having a good effect. 42% of the vote in the next election. Right, our membership is going up. Still basically sod all and basically no activists. But thankfully their membership is going down and their activism is going down. Right, the wealthy aren't liking me. They're going down. Obesity. Mm, maybe next turn tick away? Asthma? Right, the fact that we're building roads. Okay, with our surplus. I want to do something to... in the transport area. Some reasonably cheap things. Satellite road pricing, an expensive system that requires transponders. Oh, yeah, sorry, that's, um, that's pain per mile. <laughs> School buses. It gets people off the road. National monorail system is somehow cheaper than rail subsidies. Okay then, I think we go for the national monorail system. That's basically all of our surplus. The urban will love it. Car usage will go down, unemployment will go down, infrastructure goes up. And the transportation. Try and encourage telecommunicating. Urban membership. Urbans like it, but their membership goes down. Car usage goes down, which is more important. And it helps the infrastructure. Hmm. I think we do fuel. Right, biofuel, people like, but it costs a lot. Fuel efficiency standards. Oil demand goes down. Motorist income goes up. Car usage goes up. Environment goes up. Capitalists don't like it. CO2 emissions go down. Basically, nothing else in transportation I'd want to do. 
Community policing is going to cost too much. Plastic bag tax helps the environment implement it. Capitalists hate it, but it does help the environment. And I know for a fact it reduces the amount of uh, plastic bags I use it because the UK has one. Uh, basically, it was a 5p tax on any bag. Now, the majority of plastic bags when you go to the shop actually cost more than 5p. But it's because instead of making the cheapest things they can so they can just chuck them at you and you'll be happy, now you buy decent ones and the idea is to reuse them. <laughs> um, yes, the idea is to reuse them. However, how many times have I been at the checkout and made the joke one of these days, I'll reuse one of these reusable bags. But me buying them is actually... My dad uh, swapped out his old ones that he was using and you know, he's got better ones now. Uh, my sister, my mum, my nana, <laughs> and a load of my friends now actually have reusable bags which they use <laughs> unintentionally. I've um, I I've bought them for everybody <laughs> just because I can never be bothered to carry them and if I nip... Uh, while I've been off um, medical reasons and that, um, I've found excuses to go on walks. At the minute I have three standard walks that I do a morning, an afternoon and a night one. Uh, ideally, I do them all. I've done none of them today, but yesterday, before recording the uh, Pond Op clips, if you've been watching that, um, I actually walked 20k, done two of my walks, basically. Uh, but what I previously used to do was I'd find an excuse to go to like the supermarket, which is usually like a driving distance away, and I'd walk it, and then I'd walk back up. But I, <laughs> uh, I would often not remember to take any bags, so I basically each time I went, and I'd have two. Because as you're walking, you want your weight evenly distributed. Um, you know, also one in each hand, whatever you're carrying, split it halfway, and like farmers walk it back up. Yeah, but the walk bears downhill, the walk back up was uphill, but anyway, like farmers walk it, so each time I'd do it, it'd be another two bags. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gentlemen of the YouTube, that is all the time we have for this episode. As always, I'd like to thank you for watching, but unfortunately, I'm gonna have to say goodbye. Goodbye.